Welcome to a new video and who? What is this? Background blur on the Huawei P50 Pro, but it doesn't look like the background blur filter. What could it be? Hmm, let's find out together and let's get started. So, some people might have figured it out after I announced it last video already. The aperture mode under the Huawei P50 series has a nice little video button here that allows me to also do some video stuff and I can set the aperture here to whatever I want. This is my setting that I used for the intro video, which is f8 and I can of course switch to something more blurry if I want to but I think f8 looks quite realistic with the background blur and uh, yeah so I have some kind of like cinematic mode also on the Huawei devices so it's not only the iPhone that has this kind of cinematic mode of course the iPhone has the advantage of auto detecting faces and switching between faces automatically because it's using AI and machine learning for this but uh, Huawei doesn't have this feature so it's tries to have everything that is like close focus distance in focus and uh, this also has the advantage that it's not only taking like um, faces in focus but also objects in focus so it's a nice little feature let's compare it with the uh, cinematic mode from the iPhone because people told me yeah you used too much background blur on the iPhone this is why it looks so artificial in comparison to the Huawei that doesn't have by default such an artificial um, background blur and we are with this I think where you can set the same aperture we can compare and see which one is better so I had f8 set so I will do uh, the video now with the iPhone 13 Pro also set into f8 in cinematic mode and we will see how this will look like cinematic mode now with the iphone 13 pro and the f-stop number the virtual one set here to f8 as well and how's the background blur how does it look like i'm now facing the sun the sun is here so maybe it changes a little bit with the lens flare and so on so i can also turn around a little bit to see if the background blur is blurring out also people behind me or not so this is the f8 version of the background blur in cinematic mode on the iPhone and for God's sake yeah I also have a nice little other phone here an older one that you might notice already or know the Mate 40 Pro and I thought yeah why not testing this out with the aperture background blur in video mode as well so let's switch to this one and we'll see how it'll look like so this is now the Mate 40 Pro's aperture mode in F8 video mode 30 frames per second 1080p like all the other ones I had a little bit hopes that I can use the ultra wide angle on the Mate 40 Pro for this the cine lens that it has but sadly I cannot so I have to use the main lens for this uh, fake background aperture blur but how does it look like what do you think who is better in the cutouts this is Emotion UI 11 running on the Mate 40 Pro instead of the Harmony US 2.0 version of the P50 Pro that has yeah, slightly an updated camera system there also in terms of the application so what do you think about it write it down in the comment section who is doing better in terms of uh, background blur and for goodness sake I also want to try out maybe uh, some of the higher options to see uh, if it gets a bit too fake I think f8 is a good compromise maybe I will go to f f11 to see how this will look like and then compare it with the iPhone as well and now the p50 pro again with f11 as aperture background fake blur in video mode how does it look like I think the cutout might be looking even better and as the main camera has already a natural background blur this yeah makes it a little bit more creamy and could be useful for some people but I have to say honestly speaking uh, usually I would just stick to the normal mode because I can record also in uh, 1080p 60 frames per second get this nice background blur if I get a bit closer and uh, otherwise I can uh, just uh, yeah adjust uh, the stuff later maybe in post if I want to but in honestly the natural background blur still looks the best and this fake one always has a little bit of issues and problems like when I 
uh, want to show an object for example that could go wrong but maybe let's make the display as bright as possible this is the mate 40 pro if i hold it here in the camera i'm not sure if the fake background blur is going to work with this or not and this is something that i don't have an issue with when i'm still using the normal camera module that's also very big and creates nice creamy background blur at least for vlogging i would say for vlogging sake it's enough that the normal one creates but uh, yeah let's compare f11 with the iphone's f11 to see if it has a better camera cutout especially also for my messy hair right now and now the iphone 11 nay, the iphone 13 pro with the cinematic mode at f11 this way around so um, yeah how does it look like um, is the focusing mode also working let's take the same kind of object here like my uh, mate 40 pro but i have to just manually put the brightness to the top is it focusing on this even i'm not sure if it's blurring it out and me making me sharp i don't know anyway this is uh, the yeah bokeh test the cinematic video uh, fake bokeh test at f11 does the iphone look better than the p50 pro you can write it down in the comment section this is everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more iphone 13 pro against p50 pro videos uh, there are a lot more in my huawei list and also at the end of the video you will probably see some uh, recommendations as videos as well uh, that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye